weddings if you're going to them of course and this idea was given by Alicia Sahu 6990 on Instagram her brother's wedding is next month and she wanted some tips on them and uh, since I've had a wedding in the family last month in September I thought I could share my two cents on it so first of all let me just share some uh, clutch recommendations that I have um, if it's Indian gold can never go wrong if i mean you don't even should you shouldn't even have to think about it if you're going to a indian wedding or you need a clutch or a bag for something indian go with gold it goes with every single indian outfit goes with our skin tone our undertones and everything it looks great this i got from bangalore i need to cut this thread off i'm sorry but i got this from bangalore the new tibetan market it's a beautiful material and it even comes with a longer strap and i actually wore this to the wedding and i love it to bits um yes it's a bit thin but it fits all my I make products and I just put some cards and a little bit of cash and I'm good to go. The other bag that I have is from Law Garden Market in Ahmedabad. It's beautiful again. So it's not gold but it just screams Indian. It has yellow to it which again goes with our undertones. This has a lot of space. It even has a zipper and a longer strap that I love. It's not a very well made bag but I mean you're not going to use a wedding clutch for like treks and all so it's fine. <laughs> and it was not very expensive as well so hey, that does not hurt. And the third bag is this one which I actually DIY'd. So this was just a plain magenta clutch. This is what it looked like. This is what it was. I got it as a gift. But then I got a top as a gift which had this on the neckline. So I just cut it off. You could use any necklace that you have. And I stuck it on top of this with some fabric glue. And my mom later stitched some stitches over here with the thread to make it uh, more sturdy. But since I wore it to that wedding, some of these things are coming off. I need to glue them back on. But yeah, you can DIY a clutch like this and there you have it. So I've got some products that I would really recommend you bring in your clutch to the wedding. You don't need to bring the whole thing, but I feel like people go to the beauty parlors or whatever, they get dressed and then they don't really have the product that's on their face. Throughout the night, your makeup is obviously gonna sweat off, move here and there. I mean, even if it's great makeup, you are going to sweat, right? You would need a touch up. But if you're getting ready at a parlor, you're not gonna have all those products. So it's best if you either take your own products or at least buy like a lip color or something and take it with you and tell them to make the makeup in a way that they can incorporate that color of course make sure that the color goes with your outfit right so that at least you can have that throughout the night so here are a few things that I recommend first of all a lip product obviously this is the Kylie Jenner metal liquid lipstick in the color air I love this guys I actually wore it to the wedding I did not think that I would get uh, use of it in my daily life I thought fine I'll just use it in my makeup tutorials and get through with it but during the nine days of Navratri I realized that I'm actually using this every single day it's a beautiful color guys so it has a pinkish um, base to it and then they have put like golden uh, you know if you had a pink lip gloss and you would just put gold eyeshadow in it that's my recommend that's my explanation but it's more of like peach actually it's it's peach with golden in it it's beautiful and I love it it's beautiful and it smells so nice and I just basically top, I could even put it on top, I'm sweating so bad because it's so hot. I could even put it on my lip color today and it will look great. It's just, it's amazing. I put it just on the inner part and then just spread it on my lips. It looks great and it makes the lip color look more Indian. And it even makes a dark color look subtle. So that's great. You could use it on your eyes. It's awesome. The second thing that I would recommend you bring with you is an eyeliner or the kajal that you're wearing. So kajals usually don't really smudge off, um, especially if you're wearing a gel liner. Today I'm wearing a kajal, but I'm usually an eyeliner girl. And the one that I prefer is a Lakme Absolute Shine Line. I love this eyeliner to bits. This is probably my fifth tube of it that I've bought. The number one thing that I love is the brush. It's so long and it just gives a precise line in one go. Now why I recommend a kajal or an eyeliner is from my personal experience. So I get itchy eyes so at times I want to itch the inner part of it but then with makeup you can't. But if you have a back of it, backup of it at least you can be comfortable just rub it off and then you can go back in with it. At times the liner seems to crack you know if you have a different eyeliner it could crack or anything or you could just cry or anything you know also if you're wearing false eyelashes if uh, say they're coming off at night or you're tired you want to take them off there's gonna be that weird line of it so if you carry 
eyeliner or eye pencil you can always go over it and correct it so this goes a long way the next thing is powder or blotting sheets now face powder is gonna be too much but what if you know your foundation moves away you could you use that but then usually with the makeup these days it's usually long wearing long staying or whatever so blotting sheets are your way to go this is in a very bad shape because I take it every single day to my flight so it just gets rolled around these are the face shop blotting sheets I got them when I went to Dubai I don't know if they're still here in uh, India it has it says it has pore care and it's 50 sheets these blue sheets and you can just use one sheet blot your face away and it'll be great your makeup won't move and the oil would be out of your face so who doesn't love that right I love these by the way guys every single thing that I'm talking about here I actually carried it to the wedding that I went to and last but not the least some band-aids for your feet and not only your maybe your girlfriend your sisters or even the bride's feet you never know uh, I was wearing heels both the days I don't know how my legs survived to even perform because we did a dance performance there but I mean these would come handy if you're wearing say a new footwear even if it's flat I mean band-aids you can never go wrong and they're not gonna take a lot of space so that's great right some other tips definitely make sure your foundation has no sunscreen because usually at weddings you would have the photographer he could be using flash photography using the flash on the camera and in that sunscreen has kind of a white cast so if he uses a flash your face is gonna look white in that photo and you do not want that later on especially if you're the bride or someone very close to the bride so make sure there's no sunscreen in the foundation do not bake you know I don't know how the parlors do it because I don't go there to do the makeup but you know baking is really in where you put light color trans lucent powder under your eyes that shows up in flash photography a lot of times you might have seen a lot of blunders that uh, you know celebrities have done so yeah make sure not to bake just to be on the safer side uh, another thing is to keep a tissue to dry off the sweat because a hanky a cloth handkerchief is gonna take the makeup off so having a tissue is better like I'm sweating right now instead of taking off the sweat like this make sure to blot it like that that way is the foundation which would have been collected with the, because of the sweat would also get a spread and you won't have a weird patch of no foundation extra rubber band spins hairpins is like you should do that because you don't want any of your clothing coming off you being the center of attention for the wrong reasons right and one major tip which I actually want to say as a public service announcement and I want to encourage us Indians to do is put more blush we just focus so much on the eyes and also the lips at times that we forget the cheeks guys no matter what you do if you don't have blush your makeup just does not tie on together and it just looks like something is amiss you know I've seen that so much you should definitely focus on the blush even if you're just wearing mascara and a lipstick if you put on some blush guys it's just gonna lift up your face it's gonna make your face look healthy like there is some color on your face it's not just makeup makeup this just gives a nice healthy glow and blush really makes a difference but yeah that was the video for today I hope you found this video helpful if you did make sure to thumbs it up I'm gonna bring a lot of other videos that you have requested this month make sure to put any other requests that you have in the comment section below I will shout you out and I'll see you in my next video bye bye till then